Do you know if having roti is made with khapli atta actually leads to a lower sugar spike compared to regular atta? Let's find out. Today I'm having a simple homemade meal including 200 grams arad ki dal or tur dal, 150 grams besan ke tinde and 4 rotis made with khapli atta. Now khapli atta, also known as emmer wheat, has more fiber in it as compared to regular atta. And because of that it's supposed to give a lower sugar spike. Let's see if it actually happens. First impression is that it's a little darker compared to regular wheat. Probably because of the more fiber in it. Tastes the same as regular roti, which is great. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 36 mg increase. So it is true, khapli atta actually did give a lower sugar spike. Because when I had the exact same meal, but with rotis made from regular atta, my blood sugar levels had increased by 41 mg. This is about 10% lesser. Plus I'm noticing in the khapli atta meal, there's a slight dip in the middle which I do not see here. Meaning that my body was able to handle the glycemic load of the meal slightly better here. This happened because khapli atta is unique in the sense, it's got more protein and fiber as compared to regular atta. And as we've seen, proteins and fiber do help in slowing down the release of glucose into the bloodstream. 